This week on DU Nation, we're on the Texas Gulf Coast in the small town of Port O'Connor. Port O'Connor has a rich history stretching back to the early 1900s when the town was named for Thomas O'Connor of the Alligator Head Ranch. Over time, it's transformed into one of the premier fishing and waterfowl hunting destinations along the coast. With its maze of marshes, tidal flats, and bays, this area offers some of the most unique and challenging duck hunting in the region. We spent a few days here navigating the marsh by airboat and chasing ducks with some of our friends from Texas CCA and Bush Light. You know, we've had a long-standing relationship with Ducks Unlimited as two of the top conservation groups in the country, really. And uh, we've done a lot of habitat projects together. And then it's just great to have companies like Anheuser-Busch to step up and help us, you know, with, with our missions. They care a lot about conservation. Uh, they help us on a state uh, level as well as uh, for our local chapters. So it's just good to have them on board. They care a lot about conservation and it's been a great partnership and we certainly hope it continues for years to come. The conditions were not ideal all three days. I feel like we got a plethora of uh, unique options that we had, right? The first day was 30 mile hour winds, uh, consistent rain the whole time, uh, even though the conditions weren't ideal I mean we still had a pretty good hunt followed up with the next day totally different options we had slick wind slick water but we still had a you know pretty good hunt then this morning you know woke up to supposed to have 50 mile hour south winds pretty mild uh, lots of fog and uh, anyways it still worked out pretty good at least two hunters on the trip that had never duck hunted. So they kind of got the full spectrum because we hunted three times. It was really tough the first, the second was sweet, and the third was sweet. So uh, really uh, good and rewarding. And it's always nice to turn people onto the outdoors and hopefully they'll come back and do it again. first time but what I uh, was probably most pleasantly surprised about was that each hunt that we did had a different experience. Having the opportunity to work with Anheuser-Busch and see how we kind of get back to the community working in conservation uh, and getting to experience it firsthand really brings that kind of pride uh, to a whole other level. Uh, realizing the impact it has on the local communities, the wildlife, 
uh, makes you proud to be an Anheuser-Busch employee. getting out with the Ducks Unlimited guys and CCA with Robbie, you know, we're always building a business relationship out in the market, but to actually get out in, in the field and, and duck hunt and fish, you just get more of not just a business relationship, but you actually get a really good relationship together uh, from a friend standpoint. Everyone here in some form, right? We're all business partners, but it's a privilege to be able to, you know, join this group together as friends. So just want to say thank you all. I uh, also want to give a special thanks to the, the guys at Ruffman Feather. You guys have been amazing. It's really great to see the camaraderie you guys have amongst uh, the Munchie crew. It's, uh, it's infectious and great energy, and we've all had a blast. And lastly, I want to say thank you to Josie's. Please, thank you so much for the dinner tonight. This was fantastic. Thank you so much. Just want to raise the beard, all you guys. Cheers. 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 Cheers.